For a very long time, I was really skeptical about journaling. And today, I'm a big convert, a big proponent. So much so that at my Startup Habit Strong, where we run morning routine building boot camps, we offer journaling as one of the core elements of the morning routine that we recommend. So today, in this video, I'm going to try to convince you that journaling, a simple technique, can actually change your life in a meaningful way. So I'll, I'll hopefully make that case for you and also tell you how to go about it, how to do journaling in a proper manner, what I believe is the right way of doing it. All right, so let's get started. So what is journaling? What is the first thought that comes into your mind? Quite often, when we think about journal, we think about maybe something like Anne Frank's diary, like the very, very famous, famous historical journal. Something which is nice and witty and charming and funny. No. The journaling I'm talking about, it does not have to be nice, charming, witty, any of those things. It does not even have to be, and in fact, it should not be just a catalog of the events of the day. What happened today? I had a nice dinner, met this interesting person. No. You could do those things, but that's a different exercise. That is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a different kind of journaling. And what is that? That is having a conversation with yourself. Sometimes, even now, you must have noticed in, our, in your mind, you might be just talking to yourself, talking about something. Just Especially when you're not very busy, those thoughts will come. There's a conversation just flowing in your mind. Now, in journaling, we are doing that in a more structured, formal manner. So we are now writing on a piece of paper. That is what journaling is. And why do we do that? Because when we start writing things down, then we are able to reflect on it. And reflecting is what gives us insight. There's a very famous saying, experience does not give learning. Learning comes from reflecting on the experience. And the journaling I'm talking about is a mechanism to reflect systematically on a regular basis, all right? Now, what are the, why would we do that? What are the benefits? Here are a couple of them. As we go through life, sometimes we have ups and downs and emotions. Sometimes we are angry, frustrated, trying to achieve a goal, not able to make progress. Um, we face a problem, we think there's a solution. Maybe there's, there should be a way out. There is there's something I could do here, but I don't know what. Our mind becomes a hodgepodge. And in those moments, we might think, if I could talk to somebody who could just give me clarity, some mentor or some good friend. And here's the good news. You don't need those mentors or good friends. Of course, if you have them, take advantage of that. But you don't have to wait for that. You can just take a piece of paper, start writing, and believe me on this thing. When you start writing, clarity does emerge. So one big objective of journaling is to just give clarity when our mind is a, is a hodgepodge of different thoughts and emotions and ideas and, and we don't know what to do, all right? So this is one big, one big I would say, value of journaling. Another reason you, could, you, you might want to do it is when we have these emotions, maybe extreme anger or frustration or, or we, we just look at our friends and classmates and we feel so envious, my God, they are doing so many things, I'm doing nothing. And all, this, all these thoughts come and we don't, don't know how to handle them, what to do about those thoughts. Start writing about them. When you start putting your thoughts on a piece of paper, what happens is what was in your head, now it's a big paragraph on a piece of paper. So now it's something which is, it's separate from you. Now we have put some distance between us and our thoughts and emotions. And with that, it becomes so much easier to just let go or just to, just to figure out a way to handle it. Another big advantage or a big value that you can get from journaling is troubleshooting. You're trying to achieve a goal, maybe, maybe prepare for some exam or trying or try, try, you're aiming for some other big objective for which you have to do things every day and you can track progress or, or maybe let's say you're, you have to, you have to let's say do some work or study for a couple of hours and yesterday the whole day went waste and you are, you are frustrated. Instead of that, just start writing. What happened yesterday? What went wrong? What did, why did you do what you did? If today you felt the same way, what could you do differently? So now it can become a great mechanism for troubleshooting and finding a way out. So there are a lot of these very simple but wonderful benefits that we can get from journaling. So now, hopefully you are convinced that you should do this. And now let's talk about 
how to go about it. There are many different techniques of journaling and I'm not going to talk about all of them. I'll take the one which is my personal favorite and also very, very simple. I would say deceptively simple and we call it stream of consciousness. All you need for that is a piece of paper, maybe like a diary and a pen and you are good to go. So what do you do? Just write. Write about what? Imagine this. Once again, the example I gave, imagine that you are sitting with a very, very close intimate friend. And you may have such a friend, even if you don't just visualize that. Now, when you're sitting with a friend who's willing to listen to you, help you out, what would you talk to that person about? Maybe about things that are bothering you, something which is worrying you, maybe things that are exciting you, maybe could be anything, anything that is right now on your mind. It has got some grip on your mind. You can choose that and write about it. And you can write not just about one thing, you can write about multiple things, write about one thing, then go to something else. Let the conversation flow. That's why we call it stream of consciousness. Just be mindful here. Stream of consciousness, it's not, it's not really, it's not just, it's not about writing just a series of garbled thoughts. So as an example, somebody might think, okay, stream of consciousness, whatever comes into my mind, I will write. I'm seeing that spider crawling on the wall, so spiders crawling on the wall. No, that's not stream of consciousness. It is, it is allowing your mind to be directed in certain areas, which are, which are right now, which you're thinking about or which you're, which you're worried about or which, is, which has a place in your mind. So this, that, is what, that is what I mean by stream of consciousness, all right? And what will happen is, as you start writing, you will start going from problems to solutions or problems to ideas, new thoughts may come, some clarity may emerge, you may have this, you may have a realization that, oh, you know what, this is what I'm doing wrong. Maybe to do it, let me try something else. So this is how you will, you will start seeing something will start coming out of it, all right? Now, when people do stream of consciousness from our boot camps, what we have, one problem we have seen a lot of participants and people face is, sometimes you get up in the morning and you want to write, thoughts don't come. You don't know how to get started. So here are a couple of ideas. My favorite is if I don't know where to start, my mind is blank, I just start with a question, how am I feeling right now? Some days I might say, I'm feeling, feeling mildly anxious. Maybe there's some low grade anxiety. Why am I anxious? What might be causing it? Now it's a starting point. And with that, the conversation will start, it will flow. And then one thing will lead to another. And then you will, in 10, 15 minutes, you will have, you will have covered some ground and you will have some clarity. You'll feel much better. All right. Another, another thought starter could be just uh, as an example, how was your day yesterday? Or how, what do you want your today to look like? What could you do differently compared to say yesterday? So this could again be one way to get started. A few things to keep in mind as you, as you write your journals. Number one is don't censor yourself. And therefore it's important that if you're writing on a diary or a notebook, it is something that is only accessible to you because if you feel that your, maybe your family members or friends or somebody is going to read it, then probably you will not put your thoughts honestly. So it's truly for those conversations with yourself that you're having, for them to be meaningful, they have to be transparent, honest, and uncensored. All right? So it doesn't have to be great language. You don't even have to write in beautiful handwriting. It doesn't matter. It's just a conversation. All right? So this is one thing to keep in mind. And second is to try to gradually make it a daily habit. Now, how should you do that? I would suggest fix a time, possibly in the morning when you wake up, or maybe before you go to sleep. My preference is morning, but you can decide, you can choose what is right for you. One last thing. Every time you write a journal, just see if there is any takeaway. Can I, can I pull something out of, cull something from, from today's writing, something maybe which I should keep in mind, something I can do differently, some conclusion. It may not happen, that's totally fine. Some days maybe just you have a rage of emotion and you're writing it down and just that's all that happened. And you're feeling maybe a little bit better. That's okay. Maybe there's no conclusion, but on many days, you will have some takeaway, and if so, take advantage of it. Lastly, all these things, including journaling, they take time. There is no magic, there is no, it's not like this is going to instantly solve all our problems, but it is going to help you start moving in the right direction. So here's what I'll tell you, try it out. S decide a time tomorrow, and maybe set an alarm or something, have a diary and pen, and get started and I hope 
you enjoy the process. Happy journaling. Thank you for listening. I hope to see you soon in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.